Hey everyone, it's Lisa Sweeney here from Business in Heels and I'm so delighted today. I'm being joined by Donna Kessler, who's the MD of Tourism Portfolio and she's one of our women on the rise. So welcome, Donna. Thank you, Lisa. It's lovely to have you here. So I want, I'm going to do a bit of in-depth, you know, interviewing of Donna. So can you share with us a little bit about your why and what drives you? Yes, yeah, certainly. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. My why, um, personal growth mm -hmm. was and self-motivation. The I was determined at a very early age that I would be uh, independent, uh, financially independent, and I knew that the only way to do that was through grit, determination and hard work. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that was the key driver and that continues to be the key driver for me in everything I do. So tell us a little bit about your business, Donna. So Tourism Portfolio is a business development representation company. So we work in the business event space, so that is conferences, meetings and incentives. So venues or our destination management partners uh, would approach me, would approach mm -hmm. the company for business development. So we actively use our database of connections to bring business to those venues or those destinations that want business events. Yeah, right. And so that would be, what, right across Australia or are we talking globally? Glo well, we work Australia, New Zealand. So in Australia, we represent venues within Australia. So we would go to a corporate or an agency and find out what they do for their events. You know, do they do um, team retreats, executive off-sites, those sorts of things? And we would put forward the product that we represent in the portfolio for them to consider putting one of their events um, at one of those venues. Yeah, right. Interesting stuff. So tell, tell me about, you know, an event that you're really proud of landing for somebody. Oh, <laughs> um, that would be an event that I work with um, and continue to work with. Uh, my first client, I should say, after I left the hotel industry when I opened Tourism Portfolio, my first client remains a client, uh, and that's obviously wow. over 21 years ago. Yeah. So an event would be um, Gold Coast Convention Exhibition Centre, which is one of the uh, venues in our portfolio. It would be an event that we contracted a couple of years after opening, and it still remains with the centre until this day. And that particular corporate account goes above and beyond to, um, they don't grow, uh, they've, they've maximised the space at the convention centre and they keep their space at that level so they don't have to move anywhere else. So it's a great relationship and um, it's it's been over 20 years, so it's, it's great. Wow, that speaks a lot about it. Um, yeah. Look, the tourism industry has gone through a lot of ups and downs, particularly through COVID. So can you mm. share with us um, a time where you faced a particular obstacle in business and how your why helped you overcome this? Yeah, uh, without doubt in the business events industry, in a lot of industries, but I think uh, mm. first and foremost business events was covid um, we were not meeting, no one was meeting, either personally or professionally. And when that is what your business is, that was a real handbrake for us. <laughs> so I am delighted to um, delighted to say that we got through it. Um, we came out the other end, but it really was only due to the, uh, the partners that we had over the years. And that includes, as I said, the partners that have been, that have been with us from the very beginning. And so what did we do? So I had staff, I had three staff, and I was particularly, I felt very responsible for um, their mental um, and emotional and, you know, their well-being. A lot of them mm -hmm. were the younger generation who lived by themselves. And when you consider that, you know, uh, it's quite isolating um, in that scenario, we all, a lot of people went through that. So we had a roster system. Uh, a lot of them live very closely to the office. So I cleared the boardroom and hired some gym equipment from my gym that had closed down, obviously, that I had a relationship with. And we, uh, we created a wellness room so people could come into the office. Um, we had a rotation or a roster and they could come and work out in the wellness room yeah. um, online with their, their trainers or do their own little programs because gyms were closed. 
And uh, that helped. That very much helped. I reached out to our portfolio of clients that we represent and came up with a strategy of how we would keep them connected to the market during um, during COVID. And we ran marketing, fund marketing campaigns like, you know, because a lot of our clients are probably about 80% of our clients are international. We would do, do a recipe of the week and it was from Malta or it might have been from Italy or whatever. And we had online chats with all of our our customers so we kept it fun and engaging and because we were remaining connected to to the customers to the market those um our clients continued to pay us um on a a, be it a reduced a reduced wage um but yes they continued to pay us i um i used the connections that i have in our industry and i reached out to a company that I knew that had the contract to uh, assist the Victorian government with the COVID vaccination centre, so booking and tracing and tracking. Mm-hmm. And so on the weekend, um, I would go and work at the call centre um, to assist, to bring money in so I can continue to, to pay the staff. So um, I will say that I um, a, a number of them did leave the industry but I was very proud to say that, it, you know, I, I didn't have to make them redundant. Um, they, they chose to do that yeah. themselves. Which is so, pretty amazing given the time, really. really. Mm. Yeah, it was tough. Yeah. So one of the things you pride yourself on is um, your values and making sure you land things and nothing ever goes to plan, I think, in the events industry. So share with us a little bit about how that happens and how your team sort of responds. To, um, to when crisis hits or when, <laughs> yeah, I think I think the main thing uh, in business or the way I've conducted the business is uh, to lead with example and, and to be integral and to surround yourself with people that you admire and respect and you can learn from. And we all make mistakes. I've made mistakes along the way. But to really drill down and to understand what the learnings are from that I, I think I may have in a, in a mentioned in a chat that we've had previously, Lisa, that, you know, for the first six years of running Tourism Portfolio, I, I didn't have a holiday. You know, mm-hmm. I was very careful that I, was, I remained focused, I had a strategy and that I was moving organically forward to ensure that those mistakes that I made, if I did make them, weren't deal breakers <laughs> that I could fix them and 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 move forward on them yeah so mm. hard work <laughs> there's nothing um it, it's not rocket science I think and also be that person that's prepared to do something um that perhaps takes you out of your comfort zone mm-hmm. uh, yeah that's that's how I've that's how I've done my done my learnings. Yeah. Well, and we were talking a little bit earlier about um, you know the fact you know tell us a little bit about what you're proud of because you've been in business for twenty years and you continue to grow this and it's sort of got a global footprint so it's pretty amazing business. It is, yeah it it is an amazing business. I'm proud of um, every single person that's worked with me. I think would would leave the organisation having learnt a whole lot. I have had people that I value and respect in the industry say to me, well, I know if they've worked for you that, you know, they've got a good, you know, they're, they're good. So I, I very much value that. I value that I'm still in business when uh, after all these years and particularly <laughs> due, during those difficult COVID times mm-hmm. uh, that we've come out the other end even stronger I have a, a business partner now and we've got plans to expand and evolve and grow, which is happening at the moment, and we're looking to employ. So that's that's all positive. So well not we're not looking to employ, we are <laughs> we desperately need to employ. So um that's exciting. We're back, you know, it's it's happening. Yeah. Yeah. So if um you're listening to this and you feel like you'd like to be part of the team, <laughs> I suggest you reach out because clearly she's a boss that would um, be wonderful to work for, I think. Yeah. It's definitely all hands in here. And I believe um, the opportunity should come for everyone. You know, uh, you know, t- 
take the rewards, everyone take the rewards. I know I used to take my staff on uh, our strategy days and, you know, one day I was like, oh, let's go to Y for four days. It's, you know, we're, there'll be learnings in there and, you know, and let's have a little bit of fun. That's what life, you know, it's hard work, but, you know, let's let's have some fun along the way as well. I mean, we're in tourism, for goodness sake. <laughs> it has exactly. to be. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Maybe I want to come and uh, work for you, Donna. Sounds, there you go. Sounds- <laughs> <laughs> well, perhaps we should collaborate in Hawaii. It sounds exactly. like a good cool idea. Yeah. So to wrap up, you know, you can clearly hear that Donna's got a very strong why and she's got real purpose behind her. And you can see that it makes such a huge difference to people in their business. So, Donna, have you got any tips that you'd like to share for other entrepreneurs that are looking to become, you know, successful and have global footprints? Take it slowly. Do your research reach out, learn, uh, pick some key mentors. Uh, you Just yeah, pick those key mentors and take it slowly and, um, yeah, and be prepared to work hard and be prepared to be on a massive learning curve. <laughs> um, surround yourself with good people. I mm. always believe that, absolutely. Yes, I think um, the learning, the learning curve is fun though, you know, because... If you're curious, it's um, you're learning new things every day. So thank you, Donna, so much for thank sharing you. with us. So you've heard it, Donna Kessler, Tourism Portfolio, A Woman on the Rise. If you want to read a little bit more about her, she's in the Heels magazine on our website um, or reach out to her on LinkedIn or Facebook. Thanks so much, Donna, for joining us. Thanks, Thanks Lisa, and thank you, everyone. See you.